All right, guys, I am back, and this is week seven, episode three, and um, this is what I decided to do here. We're going to do a lot of more um, kind of folding the tags down, only we're not going to do quite so much down at the bottom, so it gives it a little bit of interest here on the sides, okay? And then one long tag, Hermelinda tag, up here. So, like I said, we're keeping them simple. And next week's, there, there's some cute ones for next week too. So um, this is kind of, for me, this is the point where I'm just like, ah, I would really, 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 really like to be done. Because um, I want them to come together and I want to see how they're going to come out. <laughs> so, and um, I don't know. Are we going to ink at this one? I don't know. Are we going to ink at this juncture? Let's just see how, let's just get our folding and cutting done first. And then we'll see, see how it goes and what time looks like. Because even though they're simpler pocket or simpler ephemera, getting them all done in 15 minutes-ish can sometimes be a problem. Like I said, you don't need to be precise about these. Like as long as they're shorter than this piece here, you'll be all right. And that one, that one will be close, but like I said, it's a, it's around three and a half inches folded over. So I really could score it, but you know, why do that when we can struggle, right? That was a joke, guys. Hope you found it hilarious like I did. And mine are going to be different sizes too. score them down after I get the other piece cut. Okay. Use this big one as the template because they're the same um, width. Just not the same height, obviously. So that one is ready. I'm going to keep, oh, all right. I was like, okay, what am I going to do here? I think I do, I will ink them, just not on camera. Because you guys, I, mean, I know it's boring watching somebody ink for a while. I'm going to leave that one out because I'm going to use it as the template for the rest of them. Oh, Barky bark barks. I'd love to blame it on another dog, but it's mine being a stinker. I think he hears my voice and that's what sets him off. Cause he can't quite get to me, you know? He is a mama's boy. Ooh, and here shortly, we're gonna have a big surprise. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I don't wipe off that much. Yeah, kind of looks like it. Help if I laid it down flat, huh? And then try to do my burnishing. And I think I, you know what, I'm getting really inspired to do, which is that'll probably be one of my next projects is um, prayer journals. 
I don't know if you guys have been to Hobby Lobby lately, um, but um, I went a couple weeks ago and they had um, uh, like Bible quote stamps on clearance for like a buck 94. So I bought a couple of those and I've been wanting to make some prayer journals anyways. And so, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to do that probably in October. So if you'd be interested in those kind of things, stay tuned because that, that's coming up. Um, and I'll have, um, Shannon's at Mixed Media Minnesota. I'll have her kit coming soon. Um, so we'll have that in October. And the challenge will be finishing up in October. My goal is to have it all done by um, November 1st, as far as like everything's done, all the videos have been filmed, and then we can auction them off and then hopefully get them sent out. The, um, cause the auction will, will last about a week probably. Um, and it'll be on a video and they'll have their own separate videos. And that's, um, you would comment what it, um, what it is that way. And then we would do whatever cash app you happen to like and or Etsy. Um, I would like to stay away from Etsy if we can, um, just because um, of the fees, um, but not, not a deal breaker. I can list it there with your name on it and then you can purchase it from there. Um, okay, so we'll leave that one out while we cut this last one. Um, but like I said, the, um, it is, all the donations go to charity. Um, unfortunately this year they won't be able to go to Santa Cops because our local Santa Cop had to close because they could not find a um, place to rent for a couple of years to house all the toys year round. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sad. Um, our, I, they did a ton of good in our area, but they just couldn't find um, a space that was willing to rent to them all year long. So yeah, um, I will find another charity though, local and 90% of the time it'll either be a child, a children's charity, or it'll be like for the elderly in nursing homes. Like last year we did, um, foot soaks for of the elderly where they went in and gave them all pedicures. Um, um, so basically the donation money just went to purchasing the supplies for that. And then the volunteers went in and and um, gave pedicures and foot rubs and stuff. Um, so it will be something similar to that, or it might actually be one of the local homeless shelters. Um, but at that point, I mean, if I find a couple that I'm interested in and I like verified that, you know, 100% of the donation will go to the charity or whatever, um, then, you know, maybe we'll do a vote. Um, Last year I did help um, um, my friend Dawn's um, niece is a teacher. And so um, I bought a couple of hats and stuff, scarves and, and like some of the stuff she needed for her classroom. So, I mean, we, cause she, she teaches in a, um, what are they, um, a challenged area, I guess is the word I'm, thinking of right now and it's probably not a very good analogy. I just, my, I'm drawing a blank, um, underprivileged area maybe, or I don't know. I can't remember the exact word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, so I did do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, like if you guys have ideas, um, and I, I pay for the shipping of your journal. So you get the journal it's just on a donation basis. So, and that's essentially what the auction um, means is that I'll auction it off, whatever it sells for. Um, then we'll take all that and um, put it towards a, chari a charity or several. 
You know, we, you know, if there's a couple of good ones, then maybe we'll divide it out, whatever they sell for. And then, you know, one year we did, um, we had bad fires in my area and um, one of the firefighters actually lost his home while he was fighting the fires to save other people's homes. So that year, 100% um, of what we did went to him and his family. So, um, yeah. All right, guys, here are the three completed pockets and then my fourth prototype. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I think I got pretty close to the 15 um, minutes. I might even like went under, which that would be cool. All right, guys, I will just see you in the next video. Bye.